Time for breakfast. Let's hit the beach. Good morning, y'all. It's Jordan and Eric. from North American Adventures, you join us at Mosquito Beach on the North Country Trail in the Pictured Rocks area in Northern Michigan. It's a beautiful morning. It's supposed to reach 80 degrees today and we're starting to feel the heat. Eric's starting some oatmeal behind me. We have a big, big day ahead of us. We have a 12 mile day today and that includes a lot of up and down and a heavy pack involved. So we're anticipating, we're gonna be very tired by the end of the day, but we're excited to hit the trail. Our main points of interest today are Miner's Beach, which is three and a half miles from where we're at right now. And then we're also gonna see Muninsing or Munsing, however you pronounce the name. Pardon my English. <laughs> and we'll be seeing the falls there. But first breakfast, you gotta purify some water as well. We're running a little bit low, I'll grab some from the glorious Lake Superior. Then we'll finish packing the bags, get the tent all packed up and gone, and then we'll head out. I'm hungry. Leaving Mosquito Campground. Peace, bugs. We're on the way. Okay y'all, you join us in the deep woods again. We have left Mosquito Beach far behind and our campground far, far behind. The bugs here are pretty crazy. Eric's doing a great job pumping up there with the pack today. Our pack I would say is somewhere between 30 and 40 pounds. And the one on my back might be 10 if it's all filled up with water. We are on approach to Miner's Beach, which we're very excited to see. It's three and a half out, like I had said previously, from our campsite last night. Excited to get some water shots. Lake Superior is gonna be super nice today. It looked very calm 
And as I also said, it's gonna be 80 degrees. Oof. Hot, wet, nice. Our first water break of the day. Take a look over this cliff. I believe that is Miner's Beach. After our little ledge stop, that leaves us with 1.2 to Miner's Beach. It's getting hot. Just passing Potato Patch Campground. We just passed Miner's Beach parking and slight civilization for two seconds. There was a porta potty there. We're gonna go check out the beach itself. It looks like this would be a good place to launch kayaks, which we plan on doing in the next couple days. Maybe this will be the spot. Eric, how you feeling? Good. We are feeling good. It is hot. Back on the Berg Slog Sled and oh wait, back on the North County Trail, baby. UP Michigan, we did a little bit of a road walk so we could bypass the sandy beach with unsure footing and intense heat. Seems like that was the move. We have the Mosquito River to our left, and we are headed towards Miner's Castle, which is in a mile. Excited to see this viewpoint. I'm not sure why it's called that, or why Miner's Beach is Miner's Beach. Perhaps it's named after your family. Maybe we'll learn more later. <laughs> From the first point, Eric's checking it out. You can see Miner's Beach, where we just were, and hiked. We're gonna keep going this way. This is what we're looking at, that's the castle.
Hmm. So the beaches are sandstone, old volcanic and metamorphic rocks. Very interesting. Checking out the upper overlook. Just leaving the Miner's Castle Visitor Center and viewing area, we checked out both the lower and upper viewpoints. I would say the upper viewpoint is much more impressive. You get a real sense of the turquoise color of the water as you get closer to the shore. It is noon. We have gone 5.2 miles approximately, according to all trails, and we still have to go about 6.8 to complete this trail. We're marching through some pretty gross terrain right now. Very muddy, very buggy, very overgrown. Some of the bridges we've been walking on are actually under maintenance. We just passed a forestry crew and probably some volunteers with them as well that were rebuilding one of these, which is pretty cool. But there are a lot of people there, so I don't want to get them all on film. But you can see, like, it's so muddy. And because the weather is so extreme here with wetness and coldness, this needs to be done pretty regularly, I would assume. Shout out to those guys, because if they didn't put these things down, this area would be almost impassable. We just picked a little overlook to stop off at. It's really just a brief clearing in the brush that we've been going through and boy, it feels like we've been walking miles because we have through the swamp. We have 5.1 miles left to go till we complete the trail and get our waterfall view. We're gonna get a little bit of water here and then continue on. A long way down. We are making great time. Another mile down, only four miles to go to our destination. We're both feeling the strain, but it's a good strain. We left at 9.30 and it's just about to be one o'clock right now, so we are crushing the trail. As we did yesterday, so we do today, so we do every day. Signage ahead. We're going to be going this way, bypassing Sand Point, to complete our trail 
and we're going to be going to see a Maninsing Falls, which we're very excited about. Taking a little bit of a breather here, pumping like crazy. Almost two o'clock, almost 10 miles down, 2.7 to go. Killing it, bro. About 1.5 miles, we believe, left to go. The trail has opened up a bit, although the bugs persist still. We're sweaty, boys. It's hot. Eric, killing it. Day two, and we're so close to our destination. Less than a half mile to go on the approach. Civilization. A great success. Absolutely. Well earned rest day coming up. Marched. Oh yeah, I feel like I'm gonna die. Yeah, second my phone. Trail done. Crushed. You're back at the car. Everything is packed away and or airing out. And it is 312 on the dot gonna chill in this AC, this glorious AC for a bit as it is well over 80 degrees. Then we're gonna go check out the falls that we've been hyping up all day. It's only 0.2 away from where we're at right now which is awesome. We're excited also. Pictured rock paddles coming up and we're gonna get to see the cliffs from a whole nother angle. See you guys at the falls. Wave goodbye to the falls. <laughs> We're gonna move on and head out. I'm excited to show you guys more of this area. The beautiful Upper Peninsula and the gorgeous Michigan, <laughs> where we're from. If y'all like the content, make sure you like, comment, subscribe, hit the bell for notifications, and we will see y'all in the next one. Peace!